Where have you been? Talking Yeah, I'm talking to Explaining to Gia and Teresa that John Fuda would never bring up Oh my up God, why Gia's are you name. discussing why John Fuda? You're obsessed that? with me. What the why are you talking about John Fuda? You know that's going to piss her off. What is wrong with this woman? We've asked you multiple times, do not get involved. What part of don't defend my husband are you not understanding? I need space. You gotta stop campaigning for them. Oh my God, I was campaigning for her. I know, but don't, don't campaign for she her. She doesn't wanna she talk about like John Fuda. Gia brought it up and said, John Fuda brought up my husband. She's a child, why are you talking to a child about adult conversation? Yeah. Yeah. It's so on. weird that a child is even, sorry. Listen, to be honest with you guys, that's and so all, weird. I'm, 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 I can't do this anymore. What just happened? Rachel just got furious because I said that I was defending John Fuda. Listen, you got it. Why? You were doing it not me. No, because she oh, she's asked you, don't talk. It was about Gia. Don't, sh don't talk about Gia and John Fuda they in the same it, sentence. They said it, They said it. They said it. I know. And so but, I said back, no, he didn't. I know. I'm not. Campaigning. No, for Rachel, I'm not for the campaigning. Foodas, foodas. Like, we just don't decide. So I should have just let them say, you know what? John Fuda used Gia's name to, like, no, John Fuda no, slandered Gia's name. Okay, okay, okay. You have okay. got to be kidding me. Okay. Hi, guys. Oh, hi. What's going on? How are you? Hello. Good evening, everyone. My name is Joe Gorga, and today is Father Joe. <laughs> yes. Yes. Close your eyes. Take it in. To my cousins, my best friends, I love you both. I love you. When I met you, I looked at you, and I was like, wow, look at this good-looking guy. And I said, how are the ladies? You must be knocking them dead. <laughs> Not knowing that I was keeping this burden on you. One day, you came out to me. I looked at you, I hugged you, and I loved you more than ever. I love you, and thank you for the opportunity for giving me this. It was just a beautiful moment. And when I met Mike, we really connected because he doesn't have a family. It, it makes me think of my sister, and I say, wow, she won't be at my kids' weddings. My nieces will be getting married, and I'm not going to be there. By the power vested in me by the state of New York, I now pronounce you partners in life. <laughs> And here I am with this family that really is not my blood, but they have accepted me from the moment I met them. And that's how this family is. We cheer each other on and we love each other. And I'm part of them. I'm very proud. I'm very proud. I was so nervous. <laughs> <laughs>